Egypt evokes many images, such as pyramids, mummies, hieroglyphs, and the Nile River with its luxurious cat statues. However, there is much more to this fantastic and unique period in history. In this video, you will see the most unusual things that ancient Egyptians did, including training baboons to catch criminals. Before we begin, please subscribe and activate the notification bell to receive new episodes. Number 1. They trained baboons to catch criminals. You may have heard about how ancient Egyptians revered cats, but did you know they also held baboons in high regard? To them, these animals were true law enforcement agents. Apparently, Egyptian authorities employed baboons to capture criminals when necessary. Among classic hieroglyphs and artworks, including a fragment from the 5th dynasty of ancient Egypt, around 2498 to 2345 BC, Baboons are depicted catching thieves and other criminals by grabbing them by the legs. Besides assisting the police, these animals were also trained to pick fruit, produce beer, and dance. They were so revered in Egyptian culture that tattoos with their images have been found on some bodies. Number 2. Sacrificing and Mummifying Crocodiles While archaeologists have found mummified human bodies in Egypt, they have also discovered the remains of crocodiles. Their mummies were preserved, although not in the same way as human mummies. For example, in 2019, during excavations of an intact tomb in the necropolis on the west bank of the Nile River, ten reptiles were found mummified without the use of resin, which is essential in the mummification process. However, the discovery of well-preserved mummified crocodiles is not uncommon. It is believed that ancient people used these animals as sacred offerings, offering them as food for the afterlife or for reincarnations. Number 3. Children were bald. In ancient Egypt, it was common to shave the heads of children, leaving them bald, for several practical and cultural reasons. This included facilitating hygiene, preventing infections, protecting against heat, fulfilling religious rituals, and simplifying preparations for mummification after death. Both children and adults could adopt this practice, especially in Egypt's hot climate, as part of their lifestyle and personal care. Number 4. They shaved their eyebrows. The Egyptians' love for cats was no joke. They believed that cats brought good luck to those who owned them and therefore treated them with great reverence. When a cat died, all family members shaved their eyebrows as a sign of mourning and continued to mourn until their eyebrows grew back. Number 5. Bathing in Sour Milk Ancient Egyptians, including Cleopatra, used to take baths in sour milk to improve the appearance and condition of their skin. Nowadays, we know that sour milk contains lactic acid, which is a natural alpha-hydroxy acid. These acids exfoliate the skin's surface so that new, more evenly pigmented skin cells can form and take its place. In Cleopatra's case, she claimed it took 7,000 donkeys for her daily baths to provide enough milk. At least, she didn't let it go to waste. Number 6. Using Moldy Bread to Heal Wounds Ancient Egyptians were quite intelligent and ingenious. Their method of healing wounds with moldy bread may seem strange, but it was actually effective and eventually became a precursor to penicillin and other antibiotics used today. This method worked because the mold on the bread was typically a fungus that produced certain chemical compounds capable of killing or suppressing the growth of bacteria around cuts, scratches, or other open wounds. Number 7. Female pharaohs wore fake beards. Female pharaoh Hatshepsut used to wear fake beards to appear more masculine, as female pharaohs, of whom there were only three, were not as respected as their male counterparts. Although ancient Egypt was known for its gender equality, this did not apply to rulers. Hatshepsut decided to wear a long beard in the ancient Egyptian style to gain respect. Number 8. They tied rat bones to children. Some believed that rat bones had the power to cure children of illnesses. To do this, the mother would eat a sick rat, and then the bones of that rat would be placed in a small cotton pouch tied with seven knots and hung around the child's neck as a talisman. There were also speculations that people from lower classes used similar methods to treat children with bedwetting. Number 9. They stored organs in jars. 
Canopic jars were containers used to store and preserve the internal organs of deceased individuals during the mummification process. Each jar contained a specific organ, the first for the lungs, the second for the liver, the third for the intestines, and the fourth for the stomach. The heart was considered the seed of a person's soul and therefore remained in the body. Number 10. Advanced Tattoo Culture Tattoo culture was advanced in ancient Egypt, though often overlooked. Archaeologists have discovered tattoos dating back to the 11th dynasty, and images of women with tattoos in the form of spiral dots on their chests, abdomens, and thighs. Many historians believe these marks, due to their placement, were associated with a request for protection and blessings from the gods during pregnancy. Over time, tattoo designs became more detailed and often represented deities as a form of homage to a god. The tattooing process also held special significance and was considered ritualistic. It began with the creation of a flat brush for tattooing. The brush was made of an odd number of needles tied together, usually consisting of three, seven, or nine needles. The Egyptians assigned meanings to each of these numbers. After the tattooing brush was created, it was dipped in charcoal soot, and then the skin was repeatedly pierced. Charcoal soot had properties that helped prevent infections. After the tattoo was completed, it was rubbed with various herbs and oils that aided in healing and fixing the colors. Number 11. Use of bread and beer as currency. Ancient Egyptians loved these beverages and used them along with bread as a form of exchange among traders. Beer and bread were believed to play a central role in offerings to the gods and deceased ancestors. There's a belief that soldiers and approximately 10,000 laborers who built the pyramids were paid in beer and bread. Egyptians enjoyed them so much that they believed a scarcity of these foods signaled the displeasure of the gods. Number 12. Building Bathrooms in Tombs Ancient Egyptians constructed bathrooms in tombs for both religious and practical reasons. They believed in the importance of purifying the body after death, and bathrooms were used for purification rituals. Additionally, these bathrooms served to ensure the hygiene and purity of the deceased, preparing them for the afterlife according to their beliefs in continued existence after death. These facilities were part of tomb complexes that included various amenities for the needs of the deceased. Therefore, bathrooms in tombs had both symbolic and practical functions in ancient Egyptian culture. Number 13. Covering the Hair of Pharaohs Pharaohs of ancient Egypt covered their hair for various reasons. It symbolized purity and divinity, as pharaohs were considered living gods. Additionally, it provided protection against the elements and insects, differentiated social status, and aided in the preservation of the image after death, which was important in Egyptian culture. This practice was not exclusive to pharaohs, but was also adopted by members of the Egyptian nobility and elite. Number 14. Wearing sandals with enemies' faces. Another custom was the use of sandals with images of their enemies on the soles. King Tutankhamun, for example, wore sandals with the faces of his enemies drawn on the sole. At least 80 pairs of footwear were found in his tomb, some of them with African captives depicted on one shoe's sole and Asian captives on the other, symbolizing the kingdom's enemies. Number 15. Creation of Hieroglyphs Without Vowels Hieroglyphs are considered one of the oldest writing systems in human history. Egyptian hieroglyphs often omitted vowels when written for reasons such as space economy, tradition, context, and shared knowledge among scribes, the variety of sounds in the Egyptian language, and the emphasis on consonants to convey meaning. Although vowels were often omitted, the Egyptians could deduce them based on context and their knowledge of the language. Over time, more phonetic writing systems were developed to represent vowels more directly. Number 16. They considered the scarab beetle sacred. The Egyptians regarded the scarab beetle as sacred for various reasons. The beetle was associated with the god Kepri, symbolizing resurrection and transformation, especially the daily rebirth of the sun. Additionally, the scarab beetle was used as a protective amulet against evil, played a significant role in funeral rituals, represented the sun and eternity, and was also seen as a symbol of good luck and prosperity. Its sacredness was tied to a range of fundamental beliefs and values in Egyptian culture. Number 17. They believed that tears of the goddess Isis flooded the Nile River. The Egyptians believed that the tears of the goddess Isis flooded the Nile River. 
which held deep significance in their culture. This was linked to the idea that the annual Nile floods, essential for agriculture and life in Egypt, were caused by Isis's sorrow for her husband Osiris. This belief emphasized Isis's importance in Egyptian religion, symbolized the fertility of the land, and reflected the connection between life, death, and resurrection in Egyptian mythology. Number 18. Common Cases of Incest In ancient Egypt, incest, marriages between close relatives were common, especially among royalty and the aristocracy. This was done to maintain the royal lineage, preserve traditions, socially isolate the elite, strengthen religious connections, and consolidate political power. However, it was not a widespread practice throughout Egyptian society, and attitudes toward incest varied over time and among different dynasties. Number 19. They held goose parades. The Egyptians held goose parades as part of religious rituals and festivals that celebrated the religious significance of these birds. Geese were considered sacred animals associated with fertility and renewal. The festivals involved processions inside temples, music, dance, and rituals to honor deities, thank the gods for prosperity, and strengthen social cohesion. These parades reflected the deep connection between Egyptian society and the surrounding nature. Number 20. They used pumice stone and rock salt for hygiene. Ancient Egyptians were meticulous about their oral hygiene. They used rock salt and pumice stone ground into powder, which they applied to their teeth and gums to protect their mouths from hygiene issues. This method was believed to be effective in terms of mechanical cleaning, although it caused significant gum bleeding. Additionally, they used a mixture of pepper, iris flowers, and rock salt to clean their teeth. Interestingly, the Egyptians pioneered the invention of toothbrushes, called chew sticks. They crafted these instruments from branches, using one end as a toothpick and the other as a toothbrush. They also created their own version of mint candies, made from a mixture of boiled herbs and spices like incense and cinnamon, mixed with honey, which could be chewed. As we explore these 20 strange things that ancient Egyptians did, we get an intriguing glimpse into an ancient civilization that had its own beliefs, customs, and unique practices. While many of these behaviors may seem strange from our modern perspective, they were deeply rooted in Egyptian culture and worldview. Each of these elements contributes to the richness and complexity of the legacy left by this ancient civilization. We hope this journey has been as fascinating for you as it has been for us. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe for more content that explores the secrets and wonders of the past. Until next time.